is an American English language commercial broadcast television network controlled by Nexstar Media Group. Through a 75% ownership interest. Originally founded by Time Warner, which then became Warner Media, and now Warner Bros. Discovery and CBS Corporation, which then became Viacom CBS, nowadays known as Paramount Global, was signed on the air on Monday, September 18th, 2006 is who I'm going to be talking about today because if you already know or if you didn't know and you're in luck either way. So I was scrolling through Twitter after I typed in the CW on December 23rd 2023 because I originally wanted to find out what the, C what the CW was doing on Twitter but then this came up. And when I saw this, it looks like to me that they are rebranding from this to this. And I'm not going to lie to you, that logo is pretty hot. So this tweet here explains that the CW is getting a new logo starting next year, which is that is now 2024. That is next year. Seeing at the end of the new show, Wild Cards, and it looks like the channel would become just CW dropping the word the. Uh, and I kind of like it. Gotta love the transition animation. Yeah. It pretty much resembles the signature new look of the CW very well. This person says doesn't hit as hard as the CW. I mean, I kind of understand that some people on the internet would think that way. But I personally don't agree with the motion that it wouldn't be called the C CW anymore. This person says, definitely bolding the logo gives it an update, especially knowing that gap between the C and the space and the word the. Exactly. It makes the CW stand out more this way. And I'm glad they did that. And this person reassures him. I mean, it's still called the CW. Just with the the no longer in the logo. And to be honest, I do prefer it about the the. Helps make the design look much cleaner. My thoughts exactly. And how do you know that for sure? The top CW original banner says otherwise. Look. Okay, I originally found it weird at first that it wouldn't say the CW original when it said CW original on the banner, but I didn't mind it. Plus, they did that way before the rebrand anyway. I mean, just Google solve its crossing and just take a look at that poster. You'll see why they haven't added the the CW logo on it because the word the is still going to be implied. I think it could be one of those things where the, it's just CW visually, but the CW is still the network's name mentioned in the audio. And then this person says, we'll see, which ends the conversation there. And this person, this Barry Mill person says the CW rolls off the ton better. Yes, I know. That's why they're still calling it that. The announcer still says the, uh, though. Yes, they have. And they will continue to do that. I've heard from a few sources that the network will still officially be the CW. Just the logo will be updated to a uh, the less logo and bold lettering. It could be a thing where they want to re-event the CW acronym since it was for CBS and Warner. But you never know. This Will E guy says, I still think Next Star should 
change the name to JG in America or Legacy? Mm, no, no, they should not. That'll be off putting and weird. Spongy updates says the CW's new branding, aka their hot sauce branding, is set to kick at this Sunday's Critics' Choice Awards. Network will still be the CW, just not emphasized in the logo anymore. Their to defy slogan is gone. Actually, it's been four years since it's been long ago, gone. They used it from 2019 to 2020. Signature green color, now red orange dubbed as hot sauce. Yeah, I'm gonna miss the green most likely. But it is for the best. They wanted a new change. This Goldie Risa says if it's still a CW, what's the point of removing the? Eventually, they'll just remove that from their actual name as well. Okay, well, it's time to start reading that article. To the untrained eye, the new CW logo looks like the old one but it has indeed been given a tweak, most monobly. The the in the CW has been removed, so its logo now just says CW. To be clear, the CW will still refer to itself as the CW, but the the will now be implied instead of in the logo. We came to the conclusion that the logo needed a makeover and the the is not readable, said Spatsini, where it's placed currently in the logo does not reduce down well to its digital formats. It's not readable in streaming. It's not readable in social media. It's not readable on anything on a mobile screen, which is where we largely engaging with our customers. So that creates problems. The the also doesn't work with some of the network's new franchises like sports. We're not the CW Sports. We're CW Sports. We're not presenting the CW Original. We're presenting a CW Original but we are still very much the CW. That's how people refer to us. That's how the press refers to us. Even if I try to drop the, it would be impossible because in the culture, we're always the CW. So it's not the NBC or the ABC. So it kind of differentiates us. Strata C noted that besides removing the the, the logo tweaks aren't radical. He said the network could have considered full logo change, but then it might as well change the name, which the CW did not want to do. But the logo, Larry, has been made a touch bolder. And perhaps the most apparent the decision to shift from the CW's longtime green to that hot sauce color will absolutely be noticeable. Now, I know that some people may have their doubts about the new logo, but trust me, I've gotten used to it already within a day. And he's also right that you can see the word the in social media or in your phone and tablet devices. That is why they need to stand out. And it's a pretty good business decision, if I do say so myself. And besides, if they did went with the word the in their new bold logo, it will be much harder to, to read than it already is. That's why again, they went from this to this. Now, I know that there's going to be a lot more discussion about this as time goes on because people are still going to be skeptical from within the week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, or even five weeks, and maybe one month or so. But 
you just have to immediately get yourself accustomed to it because this logo is now going to be here forever and the CW itself is still going to be the name of the network. It is going to be way more emphasized than ever before. And that's the key part that you need to focus on and listen as they say it. Because they're still going to say it for years to come. It's not going to change. This old the CW logo has been around for 17 years since the network launched on September 18th, 2006. And, and admittedly, that was the only reason that the CW wasn't getting more eyeballs. It's because they used that same logo and barely changed it for years. So above all, it is one of the best strategic things that the CW has ever done. Whatever opinion you have on the CW's new logo or the CW's old logo, just accept the fact that things need to change and start accepting this motion that you don't really have to put emphasis by saying the CW when you hear it in a promo that has the, the CW logo that says the CW on it. She's a thief and a con artist. You're making me blush. I'm a cop. Yeah, I'm a cop. You have a badge? Not yet. Not ever. I am now a guardian of the law. How did you get yeah. that? Wild Cards. Series premiere Wednesday, January 17th on The CW.